Welcome back to the dyno room here at Prestige Motorsports. We're just going to circle back around to an engine that we uh, had featured and talked about marine applications, kind of what we do that's a little different. And the reason for this video is just to bring you back here into the testing lab and show you kind of the configuration with the headers or exhaust manifolds that will be ran in this marine application. baselined it with our dyno headers. That's just a, a basic Schoenfeld header. It's an inch and three quarters step to an inch and seven eighths. Obviously it's a long tube header and uh, you know it's, it's pretty large as far as the tailpipe. It's a three and a half inch exit. So traditionally what happens when we go to exhaust in a vehicle or in this application marine, we typically see that the power drops and the fuel curve is gonna to have to be changed. So it doesn't really matter if it's fuel injected or carbureted, we wanna tune it with the manifolds and exhaust system that we're gonna actually use in the vessel or in the vehicle. traditionally see happen. We, we said that we normally see a little bit of power loss with uh, certain exhaust manifolds in marine. But for those of you that are trying to save money, the marine manifolds are not cheap. So obviously a lot of people are going to want to buy a performance motor, but then reuse the exhaust system they have. Uh, I wish I had a comparison for you on that. Um, but they, the, the factory exhaust manifolds are extremely restrictive. So um, obviously the tune-up is going to be way off in the, the vessel and the power is going to be way down. Um, furthermore, on that, um, I want to make sure that people understand that when you buy an engine, a crate engine, custom engine, whatever you want to call it, everybody believes that it's on the engine dyno it's tuned to perfection, it's ready to go in the vessel or in the car. That's not necessarily the case. And, and, and that circles back around to the power loss with the exhaust system. We're gonna end up having to fine tune it in whatever vehicle or vessel we're putting into or putting it into um, as a fine tuning uh, in that vehicle. So before I take you into the console room, I just wanna show you kind of how we configure it on the dyno. Uh, so obviously you see it has the Imco Power Flow exhaust manifold. This is a good replacement manifold that is upgraded, better cooling passages inside of it. Um, and what you'll see up here is a wedge plate. This wedge plate allows us to put the oxygen sensor in place uh, for our testing. And we had talked about in the past that when the, the customer gets this, we're going to want all of this in place. He can go out, run the boat, come back, we'll look at his tune, we'll clean some things up, and likely we're gonna take this out of the system and we're gonna run it in open loop. Now, what we do in the dyno room here is we feed water in the bottom of the, the exhaust manifold and you see that it comes out the front here. Normally, there would be a tube that would connect this, water flows through here and exits out the back. In this case, we can't have water running in our dyno room. We're not really set up to actually have the water flow out the exhaust, which would help with looking at power numbers and tuning once again, uh, but we're just not set up for that yet. Um, so this is the drain for both of these exhaust manifolds. And we've had some people a little worried that the tailpipe made this color. As you can see, that did not happen. We want to run the water through the, the uh, manifold portion because it's aluminum. So, Obviously, uh, extreme temperature in there would, would warp that. So, 
So let's go take it into the uh, console room and show you the numbers and the comparison. All right, so now that we're in the console room, we have a comparison screen up here. And so we can look at the numbers in a minute as far as power and torque, as far as raw numbers, but I'm gonna pick 35, 45, 5,500 RPM increments. Uh, so that way you can kind of see what went on here. So at 3,500, it's down seven horsepower and 11 foot-pounds. Go to 45, we're down 14 horsepower and 16 foot-pounds. You'll, you'll see it, it actually was dropped 23 foot-pounds and 22 horsepower at a certain point, but at 5,500, we're negative 18.9 and 17.7 on torque, and then at 5,900, 6,000-ish, we're down almost 10 and 10. It's really not that bad. In fact, this really didn't prove the example I wanted to prove here, um, but we have a big block coming up, hopefully we can show you, um, is that that's not a tremendous loss, but it is 20 foot-pounds of torque. Typically what you see is a major reduction in the amount of fuel flow needed because we're making less power, of course. Um, but if we take a look at the Holly EFI screen, it almost mimics on our learn table exactly the same amount of fuel that the motor needed, uh, plus or minus a small amount. And that normally isn't the case. Normally it's pulling out anywhere from 10 to 15% of fuel. So um, in this case, we're only about anywhere from one to 4%. So it's really, really close. Uh, again, I want to really stress that that's not always the case. Um, also, I just want to circle back around to the comments made by people. It's it's a dynoed engine, so it's tuned perfectly for your vehicle. That's somewhat of a fair statement to make, but we here at Prestige really heavily encourage our customers to not only fine tune the engine in the vehicle for fuel consumption reasons and power reasons, but also to double check timing. Those are the two most critical things to engine life. And I just want to clarify that it's very, very important that our customers do that. Also, just point out that the very last thing we do in here before we ship it and before we take it off is we double check timing. But we're going to ask you to double check it once again in the vehicle. Things can get bumped in shipping, things can get bumped on installation. So it's just another reminder for you folks. Thanks once again for joining us at Prestige Motorsports for another educational video. Have a wonderful day.